dealing with the residue, how to deal with what remains. God sets forth a mighty plan through the hand of Moses. And God says in Exodus chapter 12, he said, Moses, you tell my people to set forth a lamb as a sacrifice. And we want you to just roast that lamb and take the blood of the lamb and put it over the doorpost and take that lamb, roast it, and let nothing remain until the morning. If there's anything that remains, burn it with fire. And God says, I want you to be ready. I want you to put your sandals on and put your belt on and put your staff in your hand. Be ready to move in haste. How to deal with what remains? Allow God to burn it as he did back in the book of Exodus. In Luke, the 24th chapter, Jesus has died and resurrected and, and he is and he appears into his disciples. And you would think that his disciples would be excited. They would just be all out of sorts because their Lord, their Savior, their friend has come back from the dead. But the Bible tells us that they were afraid and full of fear. They thought he was a spirit. How to deal with what remains. After all of this, the disciples were filled with fear. Jesus tells them, go to Jerusalem and wait for the power of the Holy Spirit. You'll be endued with power from on high. How to deal with what remains? Allow the power of the Holy Spirit to burn it up. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it says, And you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Then you'll be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. How do we deal with the residue in our lives? By allowing the power of the Holy Spirit to burn it up. My name is Roosevelt Williams. I'm the pastor of Hopewell AME Church. Please come out and visit us. We're located at 925 44th Street North, Birmingham, Alabama, 35212. Be blessed today. In Jesus' name.